Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, Walmart just released in their Platinum Series a six inch random orbital polisher and six inch pads. The prices are amazing, you guys. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how good it is and see if it is worth the price that I paid for them. So let's do it. All right, you guys, so before we get this video started, if you haven't done so already, take a second, go down below the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on the little bell so that every time I upload a video, you do get notified. On this channel, we do detailing videos, product review videos, tool reviews, stuff like that. So if that interests you guys, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. All right, you guys, so I found out that they've just released these products at Walmart, and I was like, I got to test them out. Let's see if they're any good. They're, they're aimed towards the DIYer, but they also say it's ideal for beginners and professional detailers. So we're going to find out. Um, how well this machine actually works. It is a dual action polisher, which what that means, it's going to spin and oscillate all at the same time. It's just gonna do all kinds of things. It does help keep the surface cooler, so less chance of burn through, um, which is exactly what it says on the box. And that's why they came out with a dual action polisher. Now I will tell you $70, that's what I paid for this polisher. That is really cheap. That's about half the price of most polishers that are on the market. So if it's even remotely as good as those, it's gonna be worth it, especially for those of you that are DIYers that only need it once a year, maybe twice a year, something like that. Instead of spending the, the more money, um, you can get an option like this. Don't know how good it's gonna be, we're gonna find out in this video. But the other cool part are the pads. So there's three different pads. They have a step one, step two, and step three. Um, this one right here says step two on top, right there. Hopefully the camera focuses on that. They didn't have a step one, which I think is yellow um, in stock, you guys. So I went with these two pads right here, which is going to be our correction pad and finishing pad. I thought these were like a uh, HexLogic um, pad like uh, Kimmel Guys has until I actually saw the pad. And I'll show you guys up close later. It's more like a star, but I think it's going to still be the exact same uh, concept. These are only $6.97 a pad. That's the probably the cheapest six inch pad I've ever bought. Now I can tell you that when you first feel the foam, it feels like a high quality pad. And I say that because I have pads that I've gotten before and when I touch them, I'm like, oh, this pad's gonna suck. And guess what, it did. Um, these feel like really good pads. So even if the polish is not worth it, we'll find out if the pads are gonna be worth it. Go over the specs really quick on the polish and I will read them directly off the box so I don't mess anything up. It says it has a soft start. I hate soft starts, but it has a soft start. Um, with constant power, uh, 120 volt, 660 watts. That's pretty low um, in my opinion, but let's just see what it does. Um, 5.4 amps, so any of your 115, 15 amp outlets would be just fine. And it has a, a six inch diameter disc and an eight millimeter throw. So it's not a huge throw, you guys, just a very small throw, which is usually normally good for like finishing out uh, panels, but you can get good correction out of a small throw. I uh, just can't get as big of a area done as fast as you would with a longer throw. Um, and a two meter cable, cable length, I'll have to just measure it, tell you guys what that is. And I will show you on the back really quick. Step one, step two, step three, yellow, orange, and blue. So let's open this thing up. I literally just got home with it. I'm excited to test it out. Uh, first thing you, oh, this is different already. So first thing you see, there's a wrench on top. There is no backing plate on it. So that means you've got to put it together. And I've never had to put a polisher together. I usually come with backing plates on them. Okay. And it does come with a black, I would say this is a finishing pad, six inch finishing pad. And then here is your backing plate. It does come with what I would consider to be a washer. Hopefully I'm in, in camera here, a washer right there. Um, but I am noticing there's no venting on the backing plate at all, no venting. So we'll see if it seems to get hotter um, than what it probably should. So oh, down in here, we got some brushes. You got some brushes. Sorry if you guys are seeing like scabs and stuff on me. I know it's kind of gross, but my dog, she still loves to play and we get pretty rowdy at times. It's going to be a very small cord, maybe a six foot cord. And here are the instructions. That's the last thing in the box right here. You guys are going to be your instructions. Uh, first impressions right off the bat, definitely a cheaper plastic. Um, but overall for the price, I think it's going to be right about where you want it to be. Counterbalance on there. Sound like there's a whole lot of grease in it, but we got to take the price into consideration on this. Here's going to be your dial for your speed. Ooh, 
It does have clicks, which are feedback, which is nice. I hate the ones that are smooth. Uh, on, off, ooh. So there is no momentary. So momentary means you would hold it, let go, and it, and it turns off. This is just on and off, which is great. You don't have to worry about pushing in a cruise control button um, like I have had to do on other polishers that I have. I'll show you the, the plastic's got some stuff on it there, probably from when they molded it. I mean, it looks like a pretty nice polisher, Platinum Series. Uh, it is made in China, you guys. I'll show you guys the balance up close, the balance shaft. It's actually a rather large balancer, but overall, really, it's really not that bad of looking. I bet you'd be easy to grease because there are the four bolts are inside of there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this backing plate put on and we'll see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like all the way together. It is free spinning, so that is a really good thing. It means it shouldn't um, bog down on you and die out. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely an eight millimeters, a very small throw on this. The back end is kind of tapered, which actually feels pretty good. It doesn't feel too bad in the hand. It's about the size of most three inch polishers though, um, that, I, that I have. But either way, I mean, we've got to get this thing checked out. I'm excited to test it out. Now let's take a look at the pads. Let's just take one of them out. We'll take the orange one out. Okay, so it's got just a cheaper type Velcro on the back of it, but not terrible. And the star pattern on the pad. So it, it reminds me of the Hex Logic, Hex Logic pad, you guys. This is probably this is a half inch pad as far as uh, width is concerned. So not bad. We'll see how these perform. They actually feel like very nice pads. The blue pad, which is going to be your finishing pad, actually feels really good. I think the main thing on these, I mean, that is, that is butter soft. It feels great, actually. This would be great for finishing. Um, the main thing on this is how long is the Velcro going to hold up? Because most of the time when you see a white Velcro, not a black Velcro back, typically, and that's just, this is just my opinion, typically they don't last very long. They usually end up pulling away from the foam. Uh, but it is what it is, you guys. It's a $7 pad. So if you get a couple cars out of it, it's really not that bad of a deal, in my opinion. But we're going to put it over on the test hood. We're going to test this thing out. We'll power this up for the first time. We'll see what kind of how, how loud it is, um, see if there's a bunch of vibration to it, and yeah, go from there. I've ever shown you guys this before. So when I'm using my test panel, I use boxes to make my swirls. It works really well at making swirls in the paint. As you guys can probably see right there, it works really well at doing that. If you ever notice on a trunk, you see lines like this, it's because somebody set a box on it and then they drag it off of the trunk and it leaves scratches down. So as you guys can see, that destroyed that. And it's great to uh, mimic swirl marks, just use a box. Go ahead and fire it up for the first time. Make sure we are on speed one, which we are. And there is an arrow to let you know. I know there's shadows, there you go. See that arrow right there? We're on speed one. So it pretty much sounds like my old Griot's Garage, the very first original G6, uh, GG6, I think is what they used to call that. Sounds almost identical to that. So it's not terribly loud. It just sounds like your typical polisher um, when it comes down to it. Completely space that I have a decibel gauge, you guys. So let's find out. I got the Griot's Garage G9. Um, this is the, probably the most standard DIY, one of the most standard DIY polishers on the market. Let's see, because we're up close and personal with these right when we're using them. Let's put them on speed four. It's typically the speed, at least on that, that I always use it on. Ambient noise about 37 decibels. So we're about 93.4 decibels on speed four. All right, so let's put this on speed four. It's already pretty much already on it. Here we go. So it's pretty close to the same. The Griot's is about three decibels quieter. Okay, I want to compare one more thing to you guys for you guys. So this is the cord that the Platinum Series comes with. This is the Griot's Garage cord. 
much thicker. This is like a rubber. Um, this is more of a plastic type. So that's what I was saying. It's definitely different. For this, I'm going to show you what we're using. We're using Koshikimi's F601. This is a very good middle of the road. Um, it's not a compound. It's not really a polish. It's just a correction cream, I guess is what I would really call it. So the machine's job is to spin the pad. It's not to correct the paint. So the main thing is we want to see how well it's going to spin this pad without bogging down, stalling, or anything like that. Okay. And we'll see how this pad does also. Quarter of the shoulder, start on speed one. Let's see what this thing will do. I'm sure it's really loud on the microphone. Okay, we are spread out. Let's go to speed four. A little bit of vibration. Not bad. putting down hardly any pressure and letting the machine do it. Let's see what the machine does. It feels good in the hand. I think on a thinner pad it won't be as, have as much vibration. That's why I don't like these thick pads. I'm going to try to bog it here in a minute. Let's hit it up against this corner. Remember, we're on speed four. It does not stall it. coming off of it. We're going to do a quick pass. Okay, let's see if I can bog it. Yes, it tries to speed up though. Speed six. No, you're not going to bog that. I don't even know if you guys could hear me or if I was yelling in your guys' ears. Speed six, you definitely can't bog it. I pushed down as hard as I could and it didn't bog it. Um, the backing plate is not hot. It's a little warm, but not terrible. I can feel hot air coming out of it. There's your fan right there. Um, I think it felt pretty good. Actually, I'm actually kind of surprised. That's where I pushed down really hard on it. Honestly, seeing the correction that it does is not even what I'm going for. The main thing was, is it going to bog down and does it have plenty of power? No, it's not going to bog down. And yes, it has plenty of power, especially for a DIYer. Absolutely. I'm actually really surprised by it for $70. You really can't beat that. I mean, it looks way better, but you guys, the, the correction cream has a lot more to do with that than anything else. The pad feels great feels good um yeah you guys i mean my goodness for 70 dollars and by the way right here is how you're going to take the head off so you can get in you can service it because i think it'd be definitely worth probably repacking this putting some new grease inside the head of that because it does sound like it's lacking in that area but man that had plenty plenty of power all right let's hit it with the finishing Go with the old tried and true fabulous finishing polish from phoenix eod i don't know what it is about this blue pad but i'm excited to use it it just feels so good on the hands when you're pressing down on it i think it's going to finish out really well speed one here we go you can bog down speed one for sure which is expected right now, in a finishing, you don't want a lot of speed. So let's go to three. 
Actually, I think two may be enough. I mean, this thing doesn't want to bog at all. I'm, I'm real impressed by that. I wish the handle was a little longer down here. You can hold this, you know, however you want to hold it. I always tell these polishers like this. I put pressure with my thumb when I want to put pressure. Like right there, I can put pressure. It doesn't bog it down. And I'm not going for a good finish, you guys. I just want to see how this does. All right, let's put it up against this edge on speed two. It bogs it for sure. It stalls it right there. Speed three. It definitely stalls it a little bit. Speed four. You ain't stalling it. That's impressive. You guys, I'm... I, okay, I did not expect to have this reaction. Uh, my plan was probably to return it because I knew it wasn't going to be any good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. How long will it last? I don't know. It's brand new in the market. I mean, for $70, you get a couple years out of it. I think you're doing pretty good. The downside is, though, when you use a different company, a lot of times they come with like a lifetime warranty. But, you know, when you're spending $70, you are only doing it once or twice a year. I think you can get several years out of something like this. So let's go ahead and uh, finish up the final thoughts on this. This is actually a pretty nice little piece. All right, guys, so I went and took the vacuum plate off. Let's go ahead and take this thing apart and let's see um, what kind of grease, if it even has much grease in it. Because like I said, it, it feels to me like it doesn't have a whole lot of grease. And I'm trying to read this bearing. I don't really, can't really see anything on the bearing as far as the brand or anything. Oh man, they got those in there tight. So you're going to have some Phillips heads. Uh, you know what? I might just pull this thing right on up out of here. Yeah. Okay, so there's your grease. It's full of grease. It doesn't smell terrible. I'm actually, it's just the bolts is the only thing I'm smelling. But what I want you to notice, though, is the lack of grease around the gear, right? So what I would do is I would take yours, if you go and buy this, take this apart and put a good, high-quality grease inside of it. Um, I use AMSOIL only on anything engine-related, uh, grease-related, anything like that. I'm an AMSOIL dealer, though, and that's another reason why, but I love AMSOIL products. But I don't like seeing that being dry like that. That's not good. So I'm going to... Get, scrape all of this out and then I'm going to fill it with the Amazon grease and I'm going to put it back together because I do plan on keeping this because I think it's actually a pretty good little machine. Um, either that or I might just give it away to somebody that actually needs a good polisher. Um, I have no problem doing that either but just want to take that part and show it to you guys. show you they didn't skimp on the grease. They put plenty of grease in it um, but this gear here was completely dry also so I'm going to take a napkin. I'm going to get all that out of there. I'm going to refill it with grease. Now one thing I'm, I am seeing that's kind of weird is I do not see an O-ring on here. Normally there's an O-ring right here on all polishers I take apart, but it didn't spew out any grease or anything while I was using it. So I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna clean that out, put some good grease in it, put it back together and it'll be ready to go. And it should actually probably be a little bit quieter. Every polisher I put the Amazon grease in, it actually ends up being quieter. All right, you guys. So to say that I am actually surprised is an understatement because I honestly was I wasn't planning on dogging it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that type of person, but I was not planning on probably liking it. I thought $70 can't, it really can't be that good. It's probably going to stall real easy. As soon as I put the backing plate on, I saw that it spun freely. I was like, this thing may not stall. Uh, if anything makes it stall, it'd be these big, thick half inch, you know, pads right here, but they didn't even make it stall. That thing has some power for only 660 Watts. That thing acts like one of my 900 and I think I have one that's 1100 watts you guys it acts like one of those machines that is impressive um, I don't care for the power cord I don't think that's going to last very long um, but for what you're paying I think it's okay all around for the polisher two thumbs up Walmart or Platinum Series whoever makes I don't know if that's a Walmart brand or not I have no idea um, two thumbs up on this polisher this is fantastic I have zero I really have zero complaints other than the power cord. It's the only thing I don't like. I do wish the handle was a little bit longer, but it was still comfortable. 
It still felt good in the hand. You can kind of grip this however you want to grip it like I showed in the video. I've just always been one. I like to have my hand like this and I use my thumb for pressure when I want pressure. Um, I don't want to put the, bear, the whole weight of my arm or my body on it for pressure. I want my thumb to be my pressure. It's really at most you need five pounds of pressure. Your thumb's going to be able to do that. No problem at all. Um, oh yeah, this is about the only other thing on the molding is that white, but that's really not that big of a deal. All around, great, great, great little machine. 70 bucks. I have no problems telling you guys you probably should get it, especially if you're a DIYer. If you're a professional, as a backup machine, why not throw it on your truck or why not throw it in your shop in case one of your big machines goes down? You have something at your disposal that's not going to cost you an arm or leg to have just sitting in your toolbox just in case something happens to your machines, you have a backup right here and it's not gonna cost you a whole bunch of money. Yeah, I think that's great. That is a good, good little polisher. Wish I had some rubber right there to, to lay it down, but it's not a big deal. The pads, you know, they're fine for $7. Why not pick up some of these pads? Uh, if you don't want a polisher, but you need some pads, you can go to Walmart, readily available now. Uh, most polishers and pads aren't typically readily available at most places. So this is nice. I just, I don't know how long that the hook and loop is going to stay on the back, but these seem good. They feel like high quality pads. They do not feel like junk pads, like other pads I have felt in the past. So I have no complaint there for $7. I mean, for this whole setup, you guys, $84 plus tax is all it costs for this entire setup. And you're ready to do some correction home. All you need is a compound or polish or a correction cream of some sort, and you're ready to go. Um, so I think it's a win-win. And I think this is actually a pretty nice little machine. I, I mean, it surprised the crap out of me, you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe you were at Walmart and you saw this and you got on YouTube and you saw my video. Hopefully my video helped you um, decide if you wanted to purchase it or not. But it's nice having something. You can go to Walmart, buy it, and you can get home and start working on your own car. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and for checking this video out. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab Fam. We would love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.